Hello, my name is Eusebius and I've suffered with a lot of stuff varying from anxiety disorders all the way to psychotic disorders, but today we're going to be focusing on OCD. OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, isn't like how it is normally portrayed in the movies and TV shows and books where people need things symmetrical or people need things that, you know, just add up, you know, like when you're turning the volume on the TV it needs to be a certain amount. That's not technically all OCD is. A lot of the time for me, it's doing these certain rituals, these certain habits that I created because if I don't do them, I'll get extreme anxiety, which range from brushing my teeth for 3 minutes and 30, 33 seconds, mouthwash for 2 minutes, 22 seconds, washing my hands 3 times, etc. So, we're going to be taking that into consideration. I'm going to be showing you a quarantine workout that I like to do. And I'm going to head out right now. Take this off. I'm going to head out and I'll provide some commentary so it's not just a video of me <laughs> working out and all things considered I don't have equipment I, I, I have two uh, I know I have three plates and a resistance band so and a punching bag so I'm limited to those things and it is quarantine so it's gonna be a bit difficult but anyway let's get into it <sighs> so this is me basically showing you guys what uh, equipment I have so I have this a hard resistance band that kind of sounds wrong and I have this right here which is a backpack that has two 55 pound plates in them I'm not exactly where we found the 50 uh, the 55 uh, pound dumbbells uh, not dumbbells plates but it's something that I've been using for literally all of quarantine because whoop do fucking do I don't have weights and the gyms are closed if you don't know Hawaii is now on a uh, one month I think uh, quarantine one month lockdown I mean so I'm gonna be doing all my workouts from the safety of my own home and that's where I do dips so this first exercise that I'm showing you is yeah ignore the belly fat is a weighted push-up and I wanted to do a weighted push-up because weighted push-ups are one of your compound movements and it also helps work more than just your chest it, 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 it works your shoulders it works your triceps and I find that compound movements are really good and I find that just for overall strength doing compound movements is enough is enough for you to get stronger in, in any aspect your ability to push is very very important especially in the working force when I volunteer for my parish uh, I'm mainly doing manual labor and I get it done quickly because I can push a lot because I can lift a lot and that's something that not a lot of people not a lot of volunteers have this is me basically doing um, I don't know what they're called they're like where you flip the tire I, I do that and I also do a little bit of um, I guess you could call this uh, technically cable flies I mean they're, they're from a lower angle so I think they are called something different but I'm not entirely sure but it's something that I really do so I work on that mind muscle connection it's something that I really really uh, advocate for when it comes to working out especially with people who, when I'm like at the gym or when I'm at you know college or anything like that I, I whenever I'm talking to someone about working out I stress if you don't have that mind muscle connection you're not gonna get enough uh, you're not gonna get enough workout from your workout this is me doing some overhead tricep extensions again today is chest and triceps i don't think i mentioned that before but i'm gonna strike abs in a little bit i think but mainly when i do tricep extensions i try my hardest to not stress out my elbows too much and this is where i'm doing my final compound lift dips i do do dips with a resistance band but i did not record that i don't think or maybe i did record that i'm not entirely sure but Dips are one of the stranger movements that I do, especially because as you can see, both the tables are not even, so it's going to be a little bit of a off weight. It's going to be a bit different and I don't have to adjust for that. And then finally, I think these two last shots are of me doing some ab workouts, um, hanging leg raises. Technically I'm not hanging, but uh, I, I do try my hardest to hold myself up in a way that I'm not using too much swing on the way up and I'm purposely keeping my feet up so that I'm not jumping off of the ground. And here's me doing more hanging leg raises from a different angle. I know, excuse the belly fat, I'm not very good with losing weight, especially with all the antipsychotics. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ahuyuho malamapono.